Nice. Oh, that's five dollars. He's one of the top three most feared sluggers of the era. That's fine too. I hope you got cash on you. Yo, subscribe for every game USA. Eight o'clock in the morning. Perfect Games in the building. I'm very happy. I want to say thanks to these guys for coming down. We're at the academy right now. Right now we're in the lobby. You know, use it for sitting. We use it for families. It's become a meeting place. And I think the best thing in the way we've had success was me actually knowing everybody that walks through the door. I'll be in my office with that, with that shade up and just, you know, making eye contact, waving to people, getting that personal relationship. Now we're gonna go on the main floor right now. On the main floor. We have, as you see, five cages. We have pitching here. We have two small cages for hitting. We have a long cage for hitting. Our guy Dan built this pulley system. These cages come off the ground. We can roll them up, but now you have a floor. So we can do anything we need to do in here on the offensive, defensive side. Parents can come in and see a lesson. If you're with a coach that's not gonna let you see a lesson, then there's an issue. But you're gonna be able to pull up and see exactly what the coaches are talking about. You can see everything, you can view everything, Everything. And anybody that's trying to hide that for you, from you, you need to take a second glance at, at what's happening. Now let's go over into to the VSA Sports Performance Center because this is also key for us also. But this gym is for the youth, for the youth's parents, and for the elite athlete to get trained. We got all kinds of equipment in here, all different types of machines. Strictly baseball is about explosion, but being fluid and not being tight and not being too muscle bound. Fluid, explosive mo movements is what we're looking for. And we provide that here. We're friends with the Boca Police Department. We're friends with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's. We want them to come here and use the spot as much as possible and be involved. Also on the inside we have um, um, we have recovery, sauna, cold plunge. This will be built out a little bit more coming in the, in the very near future. But we have it all here. If you're a baseball player and you're in South Florida, come by here. 7624 Northwest 6th Avenue, Boca Raton, Florida. So we got Chef's bat in here. He's one of the top three most feared sluggers of the era. That guy's a Hall of Famer. And just ask the players around and they will tell you the same thing. Another one, we got a Barry Bonds by. I was very, very lucky to get that. He's another guy I think should be in. I got an Aaron Seeley bat. I don't know how Aaron Seeley got a bat. He's the one that freaking started the George Brell war in Chicago and still on the videos right now. Oh, George Brell is my friend too. So I'm like, bro, you you know, you got me in trouble with my dude. Yeah, I don't know what your problem was there, but you know, I don't, you know he's a pitcher. I don't even know how, how he's got a bat. You know, usually when the ball happens, people tell you, hey, this is gonna go down. So I'm creeping up, a power hitting right-hander, I'm playing first base, I'm back deep off the line. Way deep. It took me forever to get there. You had a full head of steam though when you got there. Luckily, there's a Jose Conseco in here. I don't think Jose Conseco gets enough credit. He's one of the smartest guys when it comes to being in the batter's box and knowing what to do and how to set people up in the game. Very, very smart. 1995 American League MVP. That's special, always will be special. But is my office messy? Most likely. Not bad, not bad. My mom taught me how to hit. That's why I'm left-handed. She was left-handed. That's how I was left-handed. She'll tell you she played every sport. She did teach me how to hit, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, let's let's get on over. We got to head on over to Olympic Heights and start the, the combine. Let's rock. I'm looking for ability. I'm looking for good mechanics, baseball IQ. By the time you're 17, you should know, you know the fundamentals of the game. I'm kind of built the old-fashioned way. You know, my first two guys got to be able to handle a bat with speed and at the top of the order. So those are the little things that I'm looking at in terms of how to put the team together. What was your fastest 60 time ever? Do you remember? We didn't even run the 60. It wouldn't have been that fast. <laughs> If you're a parent, you know, at the youth level, and you got a choice to do anything, drills, hitting, defense, strength, performance, and then speed and agility, I would do the speed and agility. If you don't work out as you continue to grow, you're gonna get slower. It's very important working on your agility, your speed, your core, your strength. That's the most important thing before anything. Let's check this combine out. See what we got. Get my baseball glasses on. 
Like most police makes glasses that they cut the brim, cut them so they fit inside the hat. Lord knows. So, how you guys? All right, all right, all right. How you guys? What's up, guys? How y'all doing this morning? Good, good, good. I'm Coach Mo. First, I want to say this. Thanks for coming out. You guys got lots of choices to do a lot of different things. And the fact that you came out to this combine, I appreciate everybody for coming out. And don't put no added pressure on yourself. When you add pressure, it's never good. You understand what I'm saying? Free and easy, flow. The game's hard enough. You guys are elite, you know, just like I do, how hard it is to play. But don't add the pressure. Enjoy being out here. I'm here to give you information. Don't ask me about no, about no defense. You wanna talk about hitting? You wanna talk about going to the plate? Ask me, all right? All right, let's go, come on. yourself. Don't try to do nothing extra. Nice line drive, stay on the ball. Don't try to kill it. Don't try to blast it. Don't try to worry about hitting home runs. Do a solid swing, all right? 10 swings. Come on, somebody start it off. They threw. There you go. I take 9,000 of those. Good. How you doing, Vic? Swing and strikes. If it's a ball, take it. Nice, good swap. Nice. Oh, that's $5. That's five, too. I hope you got cash on you. Oh, I hope you bought cash, bro. Nice. Oh, go get your wallet. Go get your wallet. Go get your wallet. Holy shit. JC, you better, hey, you better bring my, my, my money. We need a saying for PG. Um, hmm. it can't be, be what, perfect. Hey, oh, yo, let's be perfect. Be perfect. <laughs> yo, let's be perfect. About today, move on. Great guy. Definitely like the attitude he had towards the kids. We started with the 60s and we went to infield, outfield. Then we did some BP, had Mo watch us, give us some tips. What's the go-to post-workout meal? Chipotle by far. Chipper, yeah. chipper. Let's go, chipper. No, no. Best post-workout meal. My grandma's cooking. Your grandma's cooking, that's yeah. good. I'm not, I'm not good. Mangu. Mangu, ya tu sabes. Mangu power. Mangu, mi gente. Saluda okay. a la Santo Domingo ahí. Te quiero. Okay, let's go. What's your favorite post-workout meal? Chipper, we got another chicken. chipper. That's two on the chipper. Chicken. Double chicken. Triple chicken. Triple. Forget the rice. Triple. Forget the rice. Triple. Forget the rice. Boy, you Put waste some chicken in there. You gonna waste what, $30 on a bowl? <laughs> Perfect game. What's your favorite post-workout meal? Let's go. Chase Hamlet's one of the kids I thought had a good day today. JC stood out. It's nice to see guys that come to the academy. I think JC's been coming around, working with one of our coaches. He was eight or nine years old. To see him at, you know, 17 is, okay. is, is good. Well, it's a good group. Good group. A lot of talent, a lot of good players. It's a good group today. solid BP you know you've been working on some things by yourself you and I've been working on some things tell me what's your mindset in BP to get you Man. consistent so what I want to do in, in the box I get in settle down I like to slow the game down I'm a very like tenacious hitter I like to be amped a lot so I just slow the game down look to right field a lot I look to that right field to try to pepper the ball over there first yesterday I did pull a lot but as a good hitter as I am I have the ability to do so so no, you were, you were you were solid, man. Driving the ball to the big part of the ballpark, staying on the ball, you know and I know. Yeah. You attack the ball from the outside in. You know you're going to turn on the ball when you have to. It's something that you don't have to think about it. You know, that first, first at bat you had, you worked a picture. You were down in the count, one, two or so. But he threw you a fastball and you stayed through it. Talk to me about that when you get a chance. Slow, low 80s, lefty. So I was really trying to stay inside the ball a lot. He did come off with me with... Uh, change-ups when it's a lefty especially if it's a lefty the ball tails outside so I always tend to coil more when it comes to lefties use my lower half more so I can attack away and that's what that was my approach he threw me the fastball and I turned and ripped it <laughs> sir 
So I want it. Well, I want to thank you as one of your coaches, man. Regardless, you know, any information that, that we give you, you got to put it in the form and take it to the field and do it. And I'm very happy that you're doing that. And keep going and good luck, all right? Thank you. Thank you, man. All right, brother. See you all soon. Right. Pick it. Ooh, yeah, nice play. All right, make sure I don't get hit in the coconut. How do I know Mo? That's a good question. Back in 1991, too, I was a hitting coach for the Milwaukee Brewers. And um, I had a chance to watch Mo in the minor leagues when I was a roving hitting instructor for Toronto Blue Jays. Butch Hobson wondered what was my status as a hitting coach. I said, well, I'm here in Milwaukee. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay. He said, well, good. I have a young guy named Mo Vaughn that I want you to look at. He said he almost got an identical swing as you. He's in Fenway. He should be hitting the ball the other way, but he doesn't know how. He's hard to coach. We can't reach him. I think you're about the only one that can reach him. At the end of the season, I, you know, I resigned from the Brewers and I signed with the Red Sox. And that was the beginning of our relationship. What happened is, I once I got the job, I made a phone call. I said, Mo, this is the hitman. He said, who? Oh, 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 oh. I said, no, baseball hitman. Uh, I said, look, if you listen to me and give me your time and really pay attention, you'll be the best hitter you've ever been in your life. You had the greatest year of your life. He did pretty good that year. Mike Easter has really built the foundation, you know, for me to go out and, and be able to hit the ball out of any ballpark or any field, any part of the ballpark. Now, when you see Mo, he gets over, he bends over, and that's to lock it in. So his weight is driving off his back leg. Bam! Almost 30 home runs, almost 100 RBIs after the first year we worked. Me and my daughter and my granddaughter moved here to the Boynton Beach area and to work with Mo full time. It's been great. I love it. I enjoy it. And he's got a big vision on what he wants to do with the VSA brand. As far as a team like this today, a scout team, um, working with college players, high school players, and just get them at a young age and just work slowly but surely till they get to high school, hopefully college, and then you'll weed out a few pros there as we go. Mo's put together a great staff. We know old school baseball to get you guys to hit, pitch, make out, and become a winner. And if they listen, and if they can retain, and they can understand my philosophy, which is very simple, they're going to be elite players. There's no doubt in my mind. Oh, one bat right now, JC Martinez. Let me see real quick. I like his setup. His setup is good. Good foundation. Loads good. See, when he loads, he loads real quiet, and then that keeps his head good. Some guy jump and the foot goes up. He's relaxed. He's got a good foundation, which is the beginning of a good hitter. Step back and attack. Bam. Good. See, I can just see it right there. I can just see that he had a good thing. You gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And he got speed, too, on top of that. Safe. Wasn't that beautiful? That's exciting, exciting. Oh, We're good. Break this down here. All right. Here's the start. I see the throw. I hear someone say, get down, try to get down. The dirt just wasn't in my favor today. We were all good. We scored a run, and that's all that matters. Take it as motivation. Take it as motivation to go home and really work on your slides. And don't be mad. Don't be embarrassed. Happens to everybody. Bounce back from it. I've been knowing Mo since I was about 11 until now. He's me and JC's hitting coach. I go to him for a lot of advice. We both do. Me and JC are one of his younger protégés. I've been, he's a, he's a very good mentor. A big part of my game that's changed is my mindset because Coach Mo's a dog. He just goes after him. That's why his name is the Hit Dog. So he's really taught me to be aggressive and just go get it. Don't be passive. You got the dog in you? I do got that dog in me. Everybody saw that face plant. That was a dog face plant. I was going in there with aggression. <laughs> Come on up real quick. Come on up real quick before you. First and foremost, I want to thank um, my coaches for coming out and doing the job that they did the last two days. I mean, it's our first time doing it. I thought we were well organized. I thought we did a lot of good things. And then I want to thank you guys. And I personally appreciate your effort, how you went about your business. You know, you guys look really, really good in terms of approaching the game from me to you. I just wanted to say thank you. Kevin Hammer is was the one who really uh, put this uh, this showcase together. We have a lot of gratitude to him. And thank you for a job job well done. These numbers are just numbers. I think sometimes we get caught up in these numbers, but really they all go together with who's got the mental approach, along with the, with the talent and the physical and talent to do what they got to do, and the heart. The heart is where it's at. I don't care what you, what, what, what you got. If you don't have the heart to come into play, 
this game will eat you up. For a showcase, man, all the guys, all the coaches, Kev, you guys came out, you know, made us feel comfortable, felt, feel, you know, felt at ease. We were able to take a, a trip over to the academy, access, you know, all that information, what we're doing over there. So the PG, thank you for having us involved. Thank you for giving us the backstop and the, and the strength to do it. And we look forward to doing more stuff with you in the near future. Cut. Thanks, Rob.